Speed of the day. I was. Oh. There's I3 actually. I definitely shouted I5. <laughs> Welcome to Supercars of London. In the whistle mobile, it's got a really high pitched whistle that is just, um, well, typically electric. I am the most excited today about Friday. Do you remember last Friday when it was raining? It just didn't feel like a Friday. This Friday, however, we've got so much stuff to get through today. I um, firstly have got to edit the vlog. Then when the hairdressers opens, when JHD Barbers opens, I'm going straight there, getting my hair cut, ready for the weekend. Um, and then it's gonna be a bit of mix and mash. Gad Tuning are coming over to SB to tune up an Audi A3, I think if I am correct. But the most exciting parts of today come with the new Supercars of London intro. I got sent it last night, had a look, had a little play around with it, and um, it is, so cool. I'm so excited for the first time my YouTube channel is going to have a moving intro. Normally it's just a static logo which to be honest like is it's fine it does the job but it isn't a wow factor whereas this one I think there is a real wow factor. The even better news about London tonight is because I've got a car I don't have to worry about the trains but thanks to BMW Sterling Way I have got the all-electric BMW i3 to get me into in and out of London, which will mean that I can stay as late as I want and not have to worry about getting the last train home. Quick update from today. So far, I've tried to get my hair cut twice, both times because it's a Friday. Everyone decides to get a haircut ready for the weekend and there's been a huge queue, so I haven't bothered. My video is currently editing and converting down there and I have my notes to the BMW main i3 video there. What I'm aiming to do now is drive back home, pick up a cap so that I can wear the cap in the video with um, my new sample Supercars of London t-shirt. And then I'm gonna go to a quiet location and film. Check this out guys, look at the perfect placement of my seatbelt to the logo of Supercars of London a video, and I've got to do it relatively quickly before um, Gad Tuning head over to SB Race Engineering. I've got about 45 minutes to an hour to get this video done and shot. So I've got all of the notes, and this is the first time that I've actually like done notes on videos for quite a long time, maybe like the last two months, I reckon. Good Samaritan that I am, someone who's, I've literally been on the phone, just seen someone drop their jumper, I'm now gonna race after them and give it back. Excuse me, excuse me. Have you dropped that? Thank you. I was on the phone, I saw you drop it, so I've jumped in the car and dropped it. How about that? For a good deed of the day. I was. Oh. There's I3 actually, I definitely shouted I5. <laughs> what has happened? to the great British summer today. It started off, I didn't know what the weather was going to be like today. I should have looked because obviously I'm coming to London tonight so it's important for me to know what the weather's going to be doing so I know what to wear. However, let's just put it in Eco Pro so that I can get over to BMW Sterling Way which is my current destination. BMW Sterling Way supplied me with this car. They're a huge uh, BMW dealership within the Spire Automotive Group. And they're also a sort of an i dealership. Is that the right way of saying it? Basically, they specialize in i3s and i8s. And they've also got geniuses there. They call BMW i geniuses that are the product geniuses on this particular car but also the BMW i8 because they're the same product range and we're headed over there now because somehow I have struck gold I've got to the end of the rainbow and found many many pots of gold I'm headed over to um, Sterling Way to pick up a BMW i8 <laughs> wow! How? How is this possible? And the i3, I've, I mean, I've just gone on a complete learning. I've basically gone back to school with this car. 
It has taken me to school and college and university all wrapped into one. It's it's a very difficult car to get used to, but once you're used to it, I mean, it is like, it's as easy as driving a golf buggy. It's as easy as driving a golf buggy, but it's as quick as a BMW M3 around town. Three things that I'm most excited about with the BMW i8. One, this is gonna be the first time that I've ever driven a car with the doors that go up. So I just think that's so cool. Bit growing up with the Mercedes Largo in my face, falling in love with it, and the LP640. Having a car with the doors up is gonna be seriously, seriously cool. What else am I gonna enjoy about it? The car looks like a concept car. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be on the road. It always catches my eye when I see one. So to be able to pilot a car like that, the exterior is amazing. I can't imagine what the interior is gonna look like. I haven't even looked at what the interior is gonna look like. I think I'm gonna be completely blown away. And finally, I'm gonna be quite intrigued to how much power the car has as opposed to my R8. Uh, as the i8 is trying to sneak into that super sports car bracket, trying to target the AMG GT, trying to target the likes of the Porsche 911 Turbo and the Audi R8. So, we're gonna have some fun with this i8 and I've got it for the weekend. And here we go, pulling in to the BMW. So I didn't have to go around this roundabout. Oh, I don't know where to park. I'm looking for an i8. Not sure where to park. So I've come down to BMW on Sterling Way and there's flying ants everywhere, but that doesn't matter because I'm super happy that I'm picking up this BMW i8 and just insane. This thing looks like a concept car. It looks like a spaceship. Look, I'm already made myself at home. My bag's in the back. I'm gonna set up my camera equipment in a little bit, but I'm heading into London. I'm just getting talked over a few of the features, but oh my God, this thing is stunning and I can't wait to get inside it, tell you how it drives, and just have a lot of fun with it all over the weekend. And look, it's still got the same sort of carbon fiber, reinforced plastic that was in the BMW i3. So it's the same product range, the i3 somewhere over there. And um, yeah, I think it's just time to jump in and test this beast out. Absolutely perfect. Let's get my seatbelt on, look at this. And it's on, it's on in exactly the same way as the i3. And I'm away. I've got a heads up display guys, I will show you that. I've got a heads up display. And this is the first few miles that I've taken in the BMW i8. And I'm in electric mode, just cruising, and I'm gonna try and work out the best way of getting into London. Now, first impressions. This just feels like a really low i3. That is it. Feels really comfortable inside. The seats are super snug. One thing I didn't realize about the i8 is it has back seats. What? BMW's super sports car is a two plus two. I hope it's a two plus two, or whether it's four seats, I'm not sure. Two plus two basically means that there's not actually seats in the back, no one can fit in them, but they try and claim that there's two seats. I don't really know, there's no words that can describe how I'm feeling right now with what is going on. <laughs> wow, this sounds amazing. And does this mean that sport is manual? Yeah, I'm in manual one, it says M1, which means manual. I've got 234 miles left on the range, so we're gonna have a longer range than we did in the BMW i3. And I'm pretty sure this car isn't gonna break itself. One immediate reaction from this car that I get is that this here is really prominent in my vision, so. I'm so excited about driving this car. I never thought in a million years that this would be a car that I'd be driving. So we pulled over. I thought I saw a yellow Hurricane with silver wheels and that can only mean that it is a Leams Hurricane as he's driving around. He says he's bored of Birmingham today, so he's come for a cruise and we've just parked up. Um, here's the i8, which actually looks cool with the Hurricane. 
I love the Hurricane, and this actually looks really nice. Alim, I'd go with titanium. Titanium wheels rather than black. You know the thing is, it's got the black pack on it. Yeah, the exhaust tips. The sports exhaust. exhaust. Oh, Has yeah, it got it's sports it's exhaust? Sports I could hear exhaust. it crackle, crackle from behind. Crackle in, uh, in sport mode in the Corsa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these bugs. I don't know. Ah. Oh, I've zoomed in really far. He said he was in a GT3 R, and I thought he meant Ford. <laughs> <laughs> This looks big. Are we are now. Wow. I'm not sure much of that was caught on camera because I periscoped for a bit and was just holding my camera trying to take it all in at once. But I, I aim to stop to um, just catch up with Alima. I haven't seen him in ages. He's done so much since the last time that I saw him. So I thought that it was um, a good opportunity to pull over to one side and, and catch up. And then a whole wave of people came. It was insane. Now there's that chrome, um, chrome G-Wagon. I don't think he's gonna recognize me in the, in the i8. That thing is loud. But yeah, I'm losing my voice. I need a drink. And now there's going to be some sort of huge table set up at a restaurant in South Kensington. Restaurant. We've got three cars going, um, with four in there, two in here, and then there's two in the Bentley as well. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty chaotic, and I'm not sure how much I'm going to vlog. But then once that finishes, it's going to be a supercar hunt until the early hours of the morning. We're going to hunt down some supercars and try and catch them on footage. But, yeah. He's ready. It's just so nice that my car's electric, I can pull away and I'm never ever in trouble with the police or anyone around Knightsbridge winning. So my first few hours with the i8 is complete. I did not film a single thing in London, in Knightsbridge, sorry. It was just chaos, there were so many people. You, if you watched or tuned into my Periscope, you would see that it is absolute chaos. There were so many car spotters, so many photographers, and then once you got onto Sloan Street, there were so many supercars as well, and that brought a lot of police. So unfortunately, I didn't film that much, but it was great and so fantastic to meet so many of you. I'm now gonna cruise home in the BMW i8. I'm just dropping Dimmy home, um, and then it is time to cruise back. Just enjoy a nice, smooth drive. This car is so quiet if you're just cruising, and I'm looking forward to finding cruise control, but I'm leaving it here at the moment with the doors up so that it looks good on uh, behind the camera. Um, we're in a quiet back street in London, away from Sloan Street. Sloan Street is too busy at the moment, but thank you very much for watching and tuning in, and I cannot believe that I've managed to swap the i3 for the i8 for this weekend. So stay tuned for a lot more fantastic content. Maybe I'll do a comparison video between the i3 and the i8. Let me know in the comment box whether you want to see that. Um, tomorrow, hoping to uh, meet up with Tim and a few other people as well. And um, it's just going to be a lot of fun and having a really cool adventure with this car. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new. Give it a thumbs up for the BMW i8. Thank you so much to BMW Sterling Way for sorting this out. This is going to be an amazing experience. I will see you tomorrow. Taking the engine out of this car here. And we're putting it in my Mazzy, but we're not going to tell the guy that owns that car. It's going to be like a secret. It's a prank. Uh, it's a prank <laughs> video. <laughs> the most